That was incredible. An amazing finish to an absolutely epic show. I hope you enjoyed it too. I can't wait to talk to the cast and see how they're feeling. Discovery viewers. You're watching the Klondike After Show. You're watching the Klondike After Show and you got to stick around. Is there anybody who's here tonight that you haven't seen since filming ended that you're looking forward to hanging out with in a more social atmosphere? I actually have seen a lot of people since production. Richard and I are very good friends. We're all actually very, very close. We get to know each other and we really just clicked as actors. We understood each other and we understood what the, the tone of this piece and what the feeling of it was. And, and that's like a gift for me as an actor when I get to work with someone who's in the same mind frame as me. This is probably the job where I've made the most friends. It's odd that, odd that that happened, but it's um, there was not a single person on the shoot that you didn't like. I think the entire cast felt a responsibility to make this as gritty and real as it was. And I don't think anyone could actually come close, but we got the closest. It was an incredible experience. It was very intense. Uh, I met a lot of good friends. Uh, I am very excited to be here tonight. It's been amazing hanging out in this recreation of Dawson City, but there is a lot more to see here at the Klondike After Show, like the Monte Carlo Saloon. Come on. You discover who Epstein's killer is, and it's someone who you did not expect to see. What kind of uh, surprise is that going to be for the viewer, and what kind of plot twist was that for you as an actor? You know, when I find out who his killer was, I was shocked. We have so many kind of different possibilities of who it could be, and there's a part of you that understands why someone would do that, but as Bill, he doesn't, and that's where it really dictates whether a kind of fury in his animal side takes over or whether his humanity wins out. Open your eyes. Dawson City, it's done. What was it like after working so hard and for so long on the production to finally see the finished product on the screen? Um, it's always rewarding. I mean, you see something that you work really hard at and, you know, with people that you've worked with for so, so long and then to see it as a final product and see what even our director Simon had a vision of behind the camera. It's amazing and it's just, it's nice to sit back and relax after all that hard work is done. I thought it was wonderful. There's so much chemistry going on on, on screen and um, I'm kind of, yeah, I'm kind of speechless really. It's, it's a really it's a great show. I don't think this is necessary. Just lay down, will you? Let him give something back to you, okay? Well, from all of us here at the Klondike After Show on Discovery.com, it has been a blast. And you remember, go for the gold. This is Chris Jacobs saying so long from Dawson City. Good night, everybody.